So Google is back with a brand new Pixel feature drop for March 2024, bringing with it a suite of new features and improvements to your Pixel device. The downside, well, at least until March 11th, this is for those of us in the rest of the world. US fans watching, you'll need to wait a little bit longer. Either way though, let's get into all of the new content so you know just what to expect. Before I dive in though, hit subscribe if you like Pixel and Google focused content like this, and leave a comment down below as we have a ton more in the pipeline. And also stick around to the very end of this video to learn how to get some free wallpapers for your Pixel phone too. Call screen is getting more interactive with the March Pixel feature drop. As with this update, when using call screen, when the line goes silent, you can actually tap a hello, it's like a question mark type button, to prompt the caller, which obviously will prevent or hopefully prevent spam calls for your device. There's also a new I'll be right there response, which should buy some time before answering your phone as well, along with a message saying, one second, I'll check the person is the person you actually called. This is actually currently available in English on Pixel 6 and above in the US. Obviously, you can get this working by setting the Google Assistant language to US English in other regions, but the process can be a little bit fiddly and it doesn't work every single time. But you can play around with that if you do want to try this out for yourself if you don't see the option right away. Another cool option added here is with fast pair headphones that are actually saved to your Google account as they will now be conveniently listed in settings under previously used with account option, making it easier for you to reconnect to those on a whim. Pixel 7, 7 Pro, Fold, 8 and 8 Pro users can also now upload ultra HDR photos to Instagram and vibrant 10-bit HDR videos to Instagram Reels with this update. Remember though to enable both settings in the Pixel camera application as this won't work without doing so. You'll know when this works actually as the images or video that you've shared will look super bright compared to regular Instagram posts and Reels. It's worth noting that Pixel 7 and newer have actually supported viewing these in Instagram for quite a while through the official application and you can probably tell those from quite far away. A few more features highlighted in this March feature drop include Circle to Search which actually has been rolling out for quite a while now. Jordan did a deep dive into how this works, but the short story is that it lets you quickly access Google search by drawing a circle on the screen after holding the gesture bar. It is set to come in soon for the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro and joins the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. I actually personally find this a little bit too easy to randomly activate, but I do think it's great for identifying things online or for doing further research just with, with a quick circle of an image or a web page. That's of course the phone stuff out of the way, but Pixel hardware includes more. So if you have the Pixel tablet, you'll also get some goodies with the March Pixel picture drop, and that includes Gboard Voices Toolbar. This provides quick access to emojis and other settings when using speech to text. It feels more efficient because it hides the full keyboard and appears as a pill-shaped toolbar at the bottom or a smaller version on the side of the screen. It arrives with Gboard 13.9 for Android tablets, so it could work with more tablets like the Samsung Tab series here too, so it might not be limited to the Pixel devices or the Pixel tablet that is. And on top of that, we have extra feature for the Pixel Watch, which is gaining some functionality from its successor, including the Fitbit Relax application. This just lets you guide yourself through breathing exercises for stress management. There's also the long overdue auto workout mode, which is now available on that first gen version. As you can probably guess, with your first gen Pixel Watch, it can automatically now detect various workout types like running, walking, cycling, and more on top of that. There's also pace training, which lets you track your pace and stay within your target zone for more precise fitness improvements. That's also joined by heart zone training. And when using this, you received personalized heart rate zone guidance with haptic and voice notifications to keep you informed. And that's all based upon your weight, your age, all that kind of information. Google also states that public transit directions in Google Maps which were announced earlier this week, are also part of this updated Wear OS experience and rounding out a substantial update for those with last year's premium Pixel device. Of course, that Google Maps option will come to the second gen version as well. That's all of the headline feature drop additions, but this OTA also includes some functions as part of the previous QPR beta, including things like the updated Bluetooth quick settings tile, which can now be expanded to show a list of up to three devices. Besides noting the status or the battery level of what's currently paired to your phone or tablet, you'll also now see other saved accessories with the ability to quickly switch between them. If this does sound familiar, this was a feature in earlier versions of Android that Google is finally bringing back and rightfully so. 
Continuing on the audio front, Android 14 QPR 2 or quarterly platform release 2, feature drop to me and you, includes an updated pixel volume slider with a container instead of just a thin line for that extra visual clarity. I actually quite like this change. When screen recording as well or casting to another device, you now have a single app option instead of the entire display. However, you do lose the ability to show touches when using this mode, but it is a nice option if you do want to isolate that one application for screen recording or screen casting to a display. One super small but significant addition is the brand new quick settings tile for a share Wi-Fi shortcut. I actually personally love this and it just makes it easier to get other devices or other people connected to a Wi-Fi network without having to dive directly into the settings menu. It's super quick, super easy. I really like this addition. Google has also updated the microphone and camera privacy indicators which you'll see in the top right of your screen on a usual basis with a close this app shortcut when you do tap them. To access, just open the quick settings and tap that green pill in the top right corner and close the app that is infringing on your privacy. It's really good if you do want to just close applications that are constantly accessing these, and especially if you do have a rogue app that's doing this. The UI changes don't stop there as the Pixel's weather lock screen clock has also been updated to prominently show when an alarm or the do not disturb mode is active on your phone. And it just gives you a better idea of the status of your device and something that makes sense for this specific lock screen style and it makes me wonder why they didn't have this from the beginning. On the Pixel tablet, which is also getting some extra features and other large screen devices, there's a tweaked taskbar that highlights how you can now search for applications when you access the grid for multitasking. In the Pixel launcher grid, app names can also now take up two lines instead of being truncated, so confusing icons are not just confusing on their own as you do have a longer name any longer. At the bottom of the app info screen as well, Android now notes the package name after the version number, while the force stop icon now resembles a street stop sign rather than a warning triangle. I do think this is a little bit of extra visual cohesion. And finally, when going to settings system software, which is the new name for the system update panel, there is a more user-friendly your pixel is up to date screen that links to the Play Store's manage apps and devices page. On the material you front, also various on and off toggles in this settings application have been updated to this new style, which is narrower and features a lovely little check mark icon to indicate things that are up to date. Naturally, the latest feature drop includes the March 2024 patch 2 for extra added device security. For those of you wondering, the feature drop and related OTAs are rolling out right now everywhere except for the US. We're not entirely sure why, but the US will get this OTA from March 11th, as I said right at the top of this video, but at least you know what to expect if you do have a Pixel 5a or newer, although as I noted, some of these features are limited to the Pixel 7 series and newer, so do bear that in mind. To soften the blow though, if you do hit that like button, let's say 2,500 times, I'll give you a couple of free wallpapers just to say thank you for watching this. And of course, cheers for watching. This is Damien signing off, and I will speak to you later.